Welcome to another run here in American Truck Simulator. Uh, made some changes to the truck here. Uh, changed up the paint and stuff. Came out on a custom skin and I'm going to be releasing and it's going to be called Midnight Rider. So as you can see it's kind of a interesting skin. But anyways we got a load of cables going from Clovis to Santa Fe. So... Got the trailer match truck again, obviously. Uh, shut this off. But yeah, um, another custom skin here that I did. Um, I've got dark blue and real dark blue, and if you notice, it's got green metallics in it. Um, it's got lime green, cayenne, and uh, uh, white stripes on it. So we got that. Got the chicks on the back of the sleeper there. Um, but yeah, trailer to match now. So, and then of course my route advisor is Cayenne. It's supposed to kind of half-ass match uh, the stripes on there, but I think it turned out pretty decent, and uh, it, it ain't looking too bad here. So, I figured it was time to change up the skin here a little bit, and change up the paint, and, and that kind of thing, and uh, all that. Now, I am going to run the step deck probably for her this video may be another one um, but then I'd like to go back to um, the, um, reefer uh, if I can draw a link here but anyways we're gonna go ahead and shut up we're gonna get trucking here nice looking skin I have to say it's almost although it is almost Seattle Seahawks colors <laughs> which I'm cool with because that is uh, my second favorite team so Anyways, we forgot to do the, the run down here. We got a load of cables, tipping the scales at 43,935 pounds, heading to Santa Fe to the FedEx location up there. Um, it is going to take us uh, 4 hours and 17 minutes, but we got plenty of time so to make the run. So, yeah. Completely forgot to do the run down the load there, that's my bad. <laughs> Hope you all doing well. Doing a little uh, trucking here 
and it's Tuesday, so beginning of the week here. But here we can go ahead and get a video out, and get a video done here. So but, yeah, of all things, <laughs> I've been watching Teen Mom too. I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Why I <coughs> choose to watch Teen Mom 2, I'll never know, but <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I can't seem to stop watching the bullshit. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know, I just kind of started watching it for a reason, now I can't seem to stop, so yeah, I don't know. I just decided to go back and watch the first couple seasons, the early two seasons that are on Netflix. Just for shits and giggles. And yeah. And then I gotta get back to watching some of the newer ones though. The newer seasons that uh, come out there, so. I gotta probably get caught up. I might do that tomorrow, watch some, watch some more Teen Mom too, and uh, yeah, just kind of more or less make a day of it. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really quite understand why I'm so damn hooked on the show, but I, I just, I can't help myself. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I... <laughs> I know, I should be ashamed of myself, but, uh... <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely been quite the the, the interesting day today. Cause that's what I was doing was watching that. And I obviously the first two seasons don't really mean much now. I mean, so far things have you know been completely different now than what it was when it first started. So. But, uh, anyways, it, it is kind of crazy to, if you watch the newer, you know, watching the newer seasons and then you go back to the, to the older stuff, um, oh yeah, Billy the Kid Museum, you know, daytime, I can see it a little bit better, that's kind of neat, anyways, so, squirrel moment, um, <laughs> But no, if you go back and watch the the earlier seasons, you can definitely definitely tell that they got quite a bit older. So, because obviously in the first couple seasons, they're shit, they're still kids. So, We have, I don't know, it seems like the common theme on, uh, on Teen Mom 2, well, Teen Mom, I guess, in general, um, but I know the second one, that's one I've been mostly watching, so, but, uh, it seems to be <laughs> a general consensus that it's like, Oh, this guy's a fucking loser. He's got warrants. He, he's been convicted of felonies. He's got no fucking job. Uh, either no car or some absolute pile of shit. Uh, lives with his parents. And he's fucking 25. Um, or he's in this one case of this Kiefer dude that uh, Janelle was dating in the first couple seasons. Uh, is fucking homeless, and he just proceeds to then crash on everybody's fucking couch and shit. So uh, yeah, I and that's the dude that uh, 
you're all heartbroken if he leaves and all this kind of shit. God damn, that paint just looks nice. But uh, anyways, yeah, it <laughs> that seems to be the uh, common theme there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's that, and I just don't get it. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> stupid AI does that shit. It pisses me off. Let's just go real, real fucking slow here. But, <clears throat> yeah, I, <laughs> I don't quite get that one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna live without this guy. You probably fucking live better, right? <laughs> You're not babysitting some grown-ass man that should be taking care of his goddamn self. It's... <laughs> I... <laughs> You're gonna sit there and whine and cry over that fucking loser. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, it's just... It's so fucking stupid. I I, I can't fucking stop. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I can't stop watching the shit. And I, I, I really don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, like I was watching one where uh, Chelsea was moving into her, you know, new place, and that dipshit Adam that she was with, uh, the motherfucker, she, he says, oh, she calls him, can you come help me move this stuff in? And of course, he throws a big fucking hissy fit about it, but then he finally is like, yeah, I guess I'll come over, and then he gets there, and all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. And he fucking goes home. And it's like, this is for your kid, dude. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, for real? That's fucking wow. I, <laughs> I just, I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. And of course, the dumb son bitch can't keep a fucking job for more than two weeks. And, yeah, you, you're whining and crying over this dude. I mean, and, and you take him back, like, four fucking times. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the newer ones. <coughs> She's with, um... What the hell is that? It's fucking name. She's married to him now. Uh... Is it Matt? I think it's Matt. I do believe. I think it's Matt. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, the, the dude she's married to now. Um, yeah, she uh, seems to be a pretty decent dude. And takes pretty good care of her and her daughter and all that kind of stuff there. So, it's... Uh, they definitely seem to work pretty well and, and, and all that stuff. And they're... Aubrey's dad, Adam, is an absolute piece of shit. Don't want to show up for nothing. And, of course, it gets Aubrey upset because it's like her dad just doesn't give a shit. You know, and I'm sorry, but being a deadbeat dad, it's kind of it's kind of a shitty fucking thing to do because the kid didn't, uh, didn't ask to be born and all that kind of stuff. And then you're just going to go ahead and bail and all that? Yeah, what a fucking dick. I mean, really. <laughs> but I guess it is what it is. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm, and I, like I said, I, I don't know why I'm hooked on it, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on it, and I, I just, it's crappy, cheesy, terrible, horrible fucking reality television, and I can't stop, I, I don't want to tell you, <laughs> I don't want to tell you, I just, I can't stop watching this shit, <laughs> It's like a fucking train wreck. You just can't help but watch the son of a bitch. And, uh... <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, it's... I don't know. It... There is more drama in there than I think there probably needs to be. But, you know, it's just sometimes, you know, parents and that, they, they just they just don't get along. And they just don't know how to co-parent and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of sad because 
you know, when a kid gets caught up in the middle of that, and it's, and I mean, the job of a step parent is a lot harder than, you know, people give credit for. I mean, it's kind of kind of hard to be a step parent. I mean, it really is. Listen to them Jake's just that whole way. <laughs> really on the moon. <laughs> but no, I... And of course, Kalen and Joe can't never seem to get their shit together, and they still can't. Um, after how many fucking years, they still can't seem to get their shit together. Um, Janelle, she actually left the show, but once again, could never seem to get her fucking shit together. And it seems like the only one that has their shit together is Chelsea. I mean, uh, she seems to be the only one that actually, you know, kind of has the, her shit together, has her ducks in a row and all that kind of stuff, and doesn't go out and pull the dumb stupid shit and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's, you know, that dude she's with now that she's married to, I mean, they seem to be a pretty good couple, and they don't have a shit ton of issues, and it's it's a situation where they, they, they make it work pretty well, and it seems like uh, the rest of them the rest of them just don't. And there's this new chick that's on there, I can't remember her fucking name, but I already can't stand that stupid bitch. Um, but, like, Leah, Leah, I mean, her and Corey were there together for a little while, and then they get married, and then they end up getting divorced because, well, they split up the first time because she cheated on him with some dude, and then they end up getting divorced after eight months, after you get married there, and get divorced after eight months, and then, uh, because she apparently banged some dude two weeks before the wedding, and it's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but at, at what point do you realize that you're a piece of shit? Um, I'm sorry, but there's, at some point, it's gotta click, and that Miranda chick that Corey's with, you know, uh, he's married too, been married too for a while, they seem to make it work, although she, uh, likes to stay out of the spotlight as far as the show goes and stuff like that, she, she didn't mind being a part of it, but then it seemed like it was a more drama than it was worth, I guess, and, uh, from what I'm understanding, that's, that's why she kind of quit the show, because, you know, other cast members were being fucking stupid to her and all that other kind of shit, so... That's why she quit, but then, yeah, this Leah chick, she did that, so they end up getting divorced, and then she ends up getting with this Jeremy dude, and they get divorced because she cheats on him, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You, you think sooner or later, <laughs> you'd stop fucking doing that. <laughs> I, I don't, you'd think you'd learn from your fucking mistakes, but, you know, if you're not going to learn anything, well... <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. I, <laughs> I really don't. Um, it's just a stupid situation, especially when, you know, kids get involved in it, and, you know, you're with this guy for how long, and then you end up cheating on him and uh, fucking that whole thing off. I mean, that's kind of... And the kid's got to, you know, go through that shit again. You know, and it's... Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I really don't understand some of the bullshit that people think is, you know, hunky-dory and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't quite get it, but it is what it is, so. But yeah, it, it, as far as having their shit together and, and not putting up with some bullshit and, and stuff like that, it, it seems like Chelsea's the, the most level-headed there, and I mean, she seems like she's a pretty damn good mom, so, I mean, it's, I mean, the shit she dealt with with Adam, yeah, but she's not really one to put up with any bullshit anymore, and certainly not from him, um, anymore these days, so, it's, it's definitely cool to see that, you know, she definitely made whole new life for herself and you know that kind of stuff and her and this dude got you know a nice piece of property together and all that kind of stuff and 
Texas. Oh fuck. Wrong gate. So it kind of sucks when they put two things on top of each other. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I was supposed to turn in back there. Alright then, well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and loop it. Loop through here. We're just gonna go ahead and drive through this quarry here. <laughs> After I done fucked up. Oh, Jesus. And then I catch the guard check. Try to run over this dude over here. <laughs> I done fucked up. That's one bad part when all these companies are kind of on top of each other. <laughs> kind of makes it a pain in the ass. <laughs> Especially when you fuck up. This shouldn't be too difficult to back into, I wouldn't think. Um, although it seems like it's probably going to be pretty tight. No, not too bad at all, actually. Get this straight and kind of move it over where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? So. And I'll probably completely fuck it up. Really, dog? You gotta right here while I'm trying to do this. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's good enough for me. <laughs> Anyways, so we made it over here safe and sound. No major issues, no major problems here. So, yeah. No crashes, smashes, bangs, all that kind of stuff. So that's gonna probably go ahead and wrap it up for the run here. So, but uh, yeah, I guess if anything in life, uh, don't be stupid, don't date dipshits, and don't be a deadbeat dad, and you won't be on TV unless, of course, you want to be on TV, and then I guess you can go ahead and do those things and see how it works out for you. But uh, anyways, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the run here. So till next run, guys. Take her easy and all that good stuff.